All right, gang, welcome to another uh, Autodesk Inventor video. What we're going to look at today is how to um, edit this part list, parts list here. Um, so what I've got, I've got a little job on the on the screen here, a little practical job, um, spirit level. Uh, I've got an orthographic view and an isometric view. It's got these parts um, on there that have been labelled. Okay, so if we concentrate on our parts list a sec, you can see we've got five different parts. We've got the quantity, the part number or name in this case and a bit of a description there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of columns to this and remove the description column because um, I'll actually put some information into the, the new columns that overrides that. So to access it we double click on the parts list itself, come up to the top left hand corner here and you'll see column chooser. Okay. Now your next dialog box opens and there's a whole list of different um, top areas here that you can add to the selected properties which will add a column to your parts list uh, but if you want to simplify that if you go to the parts list there you can see the um, individual um, names of the extra columns we can put in so the first one I'm going to add is this material so I'm going to add the material column add that and then I'll click it okay and now I'm going to add the next one that I'm going to have a look at, we'll go back to parts list and we'll go for mass. Okay, and I'll add that as well. Now I'll OK that. I'll open that back up. I'm going to get rid of that description column. So I'll click on there and I remove. I'll OK that and then OK it. And what will happen, you'll see the parts list has been updated. So it's already got my material in there. Um, so whatever I've set that material at in the part, when I've created it, it's giving me that material in there. Now, as you're doing yours, you might realise that you haven't set material, so it'll say generic in that box. So obviously that's telling you you need to go back and um, edit your um, individual part file, which will add that in. Um, <clears throat> as, I've, as I've just proven there, when it changes the parts list, you might need to rearrange it. So I'll sort of move it on the page a bit, make the columns a bit wider, a bit smaller. Um, you do that just by hovering over the edge and Open that one up. And as you can see here, what I've actually done is I've inserted the mass of that component. So by looking at the material, it's automatically calculated the mass of that object, which is a pretty cool function if you're working on design, because obviously um, the, the mass of the objects that you're designing is, is quite a critical um, physical element to it. So um, hopefully that's been of use to you. And um, if in doubt, give me a shout and I can uh, try and help you as best I can. All the best. Good luck.